Hello everybody and welcome to Let Everyone Eat Tarot. Um, thank you all so much for all your likes, your shares, your comments and your subscribes. I really do appreciate it. Um, I'm just going to be doing like a quick um, collective reading because I just feel guided to. So um, I will be finishing the rest of the signs and anyone who's waiting for a personal, you'll be getting that next week. So sorry for the delays if anybody was expecting it this week. It will be next week, okay? But um, I just wanted to say hey to everybody and to just see what um energies we've currently got surrounding us what the divine wants us to know um also i keep kept hearing a channeled message and it was like saying that patience is a virtue and like people need to wait like that's what i just keep on hearing like you need to wait you know a lot of people want things and it's like you things require patience like if you want something to last long you need to kind of accept the fact that the, it's worth the wait. Like, the longer you wait, the the more stable the results, I would say. And so I just feel like there's an energy of, like, impatience. Like, there's somebody, whether it's you or someone around you, it's like they want something, but they just can't wait. And if you don't wait, there's going to be consequences or lessons that's gonna that you're going to have to face. Excuse me. Simply because you wouldn't wait okay so i don't know if this is to a fire sign or anyone in particular but the lesson here is patience like you really need to to wait for something okay that just came out of nowhere but okay so let's get this going so what is coming towards my beautiful collective okay oh gosh one second so we've got i am talented okay so for some of you you may be multi-talented there might be a lot of um things that you can do for some of you hair is very significant to you as well okay but I feel like the focus right now is on your gifts it's on your talents it's on what you know how to do okay you need to enhance those um, abilities that you do have because I feel like it's really going to propel you forward and be re very lucrative for you within your future but again with this that type of energy it go back it goes back to the patience like things take time practice makes perfect so if there's something that you're working towards and you feel like it's going to take too long to get there you need to um disconnect from the outcome like i said in my last reading like it's not um sorry i got the sniffles guys it's not like you don't need to worry about how or when you're going to get somewhere understand that you're talented enough to get the position that you want or to um succeed but just because you're talented it doesn't mean that it's going to happen overnight like everybody who's successful had to work at it okay so it's just about diligence but also don't overwork yourself okay also i'm hearing don't allow people to abuse you for your talents as well because one thing that you will find is when you're someone who is gifted and who is talented a lot of people are going to want to be your friend or want to date you or want to go out with you because of what you can do so you need to make sure that you're using your discernment and not giving your f your gifts freely and solely to people who don't deserve it or are only speaking to you for that reason okay so what else do you want us to oh god it keeps going on the floor one second it's like, i hope you guys don't see my my bottom i am swept up in romance just came out so this is really really beautiful for some of you you're in a connection where you're both very um talented you both got gifts and talents you could be artists or creative of some kind but some of you love is definitely coming from around the corner like somebody wants to sweep you off your feet somebody also sees you as very gifted and talented and um gorgeous and inspirational i'm hearing so that's really beautiful so for some of you you have to concentrate on your gifts and talents for others of you love is coming for others of you both oh my god one second and then we've got um i am kind and giving um so again like sharing giving don't be too over giving to people that don't deserve it sorry the thing keeps going in the camera um but i definitely feel like there's somebody that's going to want to give to you so that's really, really gorgeous. Like, I'm hearing that energy of, like, um, somebody may want to spoil you. Okay, so that's really, really beautiful energy. Oh, gorgeous. And at the bottom of the deck, we've got um, I am optimistic. So, yeah, stay optimistic. Stay enthusiastic about the things that you want to do. 
um but be realistic as well you know balance out the energy some of you could be dealing with um a sagittarius because that's very optimistic energy okay believe it and you shall receive it and achieve it but you've got to work for it too okay even in relationships you know relationships you need to work at the connection you know it's not just as simple as smoking fucking drinking and whatnot you need to have conversations you need to be able to connect with a person on a spiritual level on a mental level like i always say like you know when you're in love because it's like your mind your heart and your private pit bits are all in alignment if it's just your private bits all the time that's lust okay you're with that person for the wrong reasons or it could be like a toxic um attachment um if your mind's all over the place but you're fighting with your heart like Obviously, your mind's trying to tell you something that you're trying to ignore because you're too much in your feelings or vice versa. If you've got no heart chakra opened at all for this person, but it's just your mind and your genitals are on the same boat, then, you know, you've rate 555, as I said that. You've really got to kind of, like, use discernment on, um, you know, whether or not you're compatible for a particular person, okay? So, anyway, please clarify, I am talented, Okay, so we've got um the Hierophant, so listen to me, spiritual guidance, okay? <laughs> Some of you could be um dealing with a Taurus or you could have Taurus in your chart. Some of you literally could be um very talented um, when it comes to your spiritual gifts or you can be enhancing them or reading up about different practices um when it comes to like spirituality, like the occult, um elites I'm hearing, secret sacred knowledge, okay, um akashic records okay um devotion and respect i'm hearing as well i feel like you're going to be very well respected for your talent whatever it is especially if you do hair i'm hearing something to do with braiding but it does not have to be but whatever it is whatever field that you're in i feel like you're going to be very well um respected okay people are really going to be very devoted to you like i feel like there's going to be a lot of good feedback like people are going to say oh go to so and so they're really good at this or they're really going to um good at that like people are really going to honor you i'm also hearing like um healing hands as well sorry that's just getting on my nerves okay please clarify um i'm swept up in romance okay the five of pentacles really there could be somebody that feels left out in the cold there could be someone as well that you're ignoring and you need to focus on your future because this person is blocking your blessings or they could be using you because you're talented to get ahead okay we've got the two of swords that wanted to come out so same energy in terms of like somebody's in limbo here someone somebody could be sitting on the fence as well someone could not be sure about whether or not someone is going to be committed and loyal to them but i feel like this person definitely is like you need to stop doubting and have optimism within this connection in this relationship but some of you also need to kind of really sit back and think like do i really want to be in a relationship do i really want to focus on love do i really want to be committed am i really ready for this for others of you somebody's going to sweep you off your feet but you're just going to be in such a pessimistic attitude that it may pass you by so you really need to oh you really need to like think about this when it comes towards you okay and um, please clarify i am kind and giving the ace of wands yeah so somebody's going to want to give to you because they're very very passionate about you so this is a new passionate beginning um this could be anything though this could be to do with creativity and work or it could be love and lust okay but i feel like for some of you it's kind of like something beautiful is coming and i feel like it's it's that element of it's too good to be true but it's not okay oh the devil at the bottom of the deck yeah it's kind of like you've got the devil on your shoulder telling you like don't believe this yeah trying to keep you trapped but you know this is just bitter ass energies and bitter ass people projecting this onto you because they don't want you to be in this energy of optimism okay for some of you somebody's definitely obsessed with you or they're just highly attracted to you as well for some of you you know that you need to leave toxic things behind and you know you know you're getting guidance from the divine and i feel like it's affecting your talents it's affecting what you are capable of doing because you're always intoxicated or giving in to temptations and things that you shouldn't really be concentrating on and i feel like you need to act like you can't see shit so that you can really fuel this energy to create abundance within your life okay please clarify the hierophant we've got the empress gorgeous energy oh yes 
So again, highly admired and adored for whatever it is that you do. People are going to think you're beautiful. They're going to absolutely love it. Um, could be dealing with a Libra here. Could have that in your chart. Libra and Taurian energy. So a lot of Venusian energy, a lot of love, a lot of admiration. Okay, this is really, really beautiful. Please clarify the two of swords. The eight of swords, yeah, somebody wants to keep you trapped, okay? Somebody doesn't want you to, to be swept up in romance. They don't want you to have a beautiful commitment. Like, I feel like somebody could be trying to attack your love life. Like, someone, or someone is in denial here, or they're overthinking about something. And like I said, if you keep yourself in this energy, you're gonna, this is gonna pass you by. For others of you, it's kind of like you could have moved on, <clears throat> And someone is very bitter about this. Or they want to keep you trapped in a situation. Okay? With them. Please clarify the Ace of Wands. And the Four of Pentacles. They may not want to let you go. For others of you, whatever opportunity comes towards you, you're going to need to make sure that you're keeping it to yourself. Make sure that you, st um, you, you um, stabilise your energy and, and save your coins for your stability and again with this kind of giving don't this is basically saying don't share with anybody else who doesn't deserve it this is what you worked for when it comes to you you don't have to give it to anyone okay you know the empress sits pretty and she just receives the abundance okay and then at the bottom of the deck, we got the Ten of Wands. So, yeah, it's like there's somebody out here that is just upset about something, okay? They're stressed. For some of you as well, this is saying that you're going to have to do a lot of hard work, but it will pay off. Just trust and believe the process, okay? For others of you as well, um, I got a channeled message about hair the other day, um... And about, like, people who've got, you know, abilities, especially if, if you're very, very psychic or intuitive or you're an empath of some kind, you need to make sure that you're keeping your temple, um, your your body, your vessel and your, your antennas, which is your hair, very much clean. Um, and look, it's one of the reasons why I went back to black because when I was, like, I love red and I think red suits me, like, I love red, but it was very damaging to my hair, and I say this every year, because I always dye my hair red, but it's kind of like, it's its best when it's in its natural state, and I felt like, um, the universe was really saying to me that, like, you know, people of divinity, like, because we receive information through our antennas, and especially if you're melanated, like, our hair, um, defies gravity and it points towards, you know, the the universe for us to get our download. So it's like, we can't have things clogging up, you know, and, and kind of like cutting off the natural nutrients and the natural supplies and energies and frequencies that, that, that we need in order to receive clear and concise information. And I feel like a lot of the time when you're very powerful, especially powerful within the mind, people attack your mind, they attack your brain. And, you know, how they get through it is through your antenna so it's very imperative and very important to make sure that you're nurturing your hair and that you're looking after it and that you give it a break from things you know I know some people they like to just do the most to their hair and put this and that in it but it's kind of like you know it's about kind of getting back to oneself and getting back to you know our natural state and obviously like the universe is black made up of matter went back to black you know um and like since I have I felt different like the energy has just been different and sometimes it's just as simple as that you know we need to detox and change our diets and things like that for a reason there's a reason why we're not supposed to intake too much junk food and sugar and things like that so I feel like this is a time period now of really detoxing you know we're going to be going into hibernation period soon you know with the winter coming up so we really need to like nurture ourselves and really um do whatever we can to make sure that we're as purified as possible i don't know i feel like there's going to be something that's going to happen within scorpio season it's kind of like i'm not frightened but there's like an anxious energy so i just feel like before we get to scorpio season my god <laughs> i just read it every time where the veil is going to be very thin um we need to make sure that we're 
really protecting ourselves, getting up our energy work and everything like that because there's been a huge shift. Um, and all the light workers, you know, all the seers, like they all kind of know what's going on. So really try to make sure that you're staying healthy and that you're staying away from toxic people, toxic energies, toxic chemicals, anything that's toxic to the things that you need in order to channel and to give and to receive messages, okay? So I just wanted to get that out there. But thank you so much for um, watching. If you felt like anything resonated or if you enjoyed what I had to say, do not hesitate to like, comment, share and subscribe. Also, if you're waiting for a person, I don't know if I said it at the beginning, you'll get it next week. Um, okay. Just a lot going on, technical issues, just, just blah, 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 blah. But I will be getting out the readings um, next week. Um, and that's it, guys. So thank you so much. Toodles.